The Steam Deck has taken the world by storm since it launched some six months ago. This powerful handheld has managed to strike just the right balance between portability, price, performance and usability, thanks in no small part to Valve's open stance on being able to run whatever you want on the thing what you bought. Good guy Valve, thanks Gabe. So you're not just limited to titles what you've bought on the Steam store, which is nice. For many of us, it's the first time our sweaty palms have been blessed with a handheld this powerful. Capable of running PC games with decent performance. I've been playing Mad Max this week, and although it's not the newest game, this 2015 open world adventure runs at a silky smooth 60 frames per second on the deck, and it's been fantastic. Really, really good. With so much power under the hood, it's no surprise then that the Valve Steam Deck is absolutely brilliant for emulation. So much so, I thought it would be a good idea to go over some 5th and 6th gen console titles which I think are a perfect fit for the Steam Deck. Most of these aren't available on the Steam Store, and many have yet to see a decent handheld port at all. So here's 10 games I think are great for Steam Deck. Let's go. First up then, I've got Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader on GameCube. An early GameCube game, but one that was lauded at the time for its incredible graphics. Factor 5 created a modern masterpiece that perfectly encapsulated the feeling of being in your own Star Wars adventure. It plays great here on the deck, and its shorter 10 to 15 minute missions are a perfect fit for this modern handheld. Sega Rally Championship now, this classic Saturn racer offers up some fantastic arcade racing action that's just as addictive today as it was back in 1995. There's a Japanese PS2 port available, but it's the Saturn version I'm most fond of. And for many of us, it's the first time we've had a handheld capable of emulating Sega Saturn to such a degree. It's kind of amazing, actually. So, Metroid Prime. While we wait until the end of time for Nintendo to bring this to the Switch, you can play it right now on the Steam Deck. I'd like to show you more, but the big end wouldn't be happy. Just trust me, it works great and it's a lovely game to play on the deck. Now, I know we've had handheld GTAs before, most notably with GTA Liberty and Vice City Stories on the PSP, but on the deck we have access to every PS2 incarnation of the popular open world franchise. These versions of the aforementioned stories entries are enhanced over their PSP counterparts with better graphics and a few additional gameplay items. There's still something special about taking a game as vast as GTA on the move with you. I mean, you can try to get the quote unquote definitive editions running, but if you're after some classic 3D era Grand Theft Auto, then PS2 emulation on the deck has you covered. I'm putting Res on this list. Now, it's one title that is available on the Steam store. Res Infinite, I think it's called. But it just feels so good to play on a handheld. There is a PS2 version available, but it's the Dreamcast version that I'm always drawn to. I don't know why. It's probably just down to pure nostalgia at this point. But on the deck, it supports vibration without the need of additional uh, peripherals. That's a weird one. Another 6th gen classic here is Time Splitters 2. Yeah, we'll see about that. Free Radicals, not at all GoldenEye inspired shooter, is a must play in my opinion. Its Quantum Leap style storyline and mission structure offers up some decent challenge. And with most levels completable, is that a word? Able to be completed in around 10 minutes? It's a perfect FPS to pick up and play on the go. Both PS2 and GameCube ports work great on the deck, so pick your poison and have at it. Ah, Nintendo's still not going to be happy with me now. With Steam Deck delivering solid GameCube performance, I'd be remiss not to put Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on this list. Both classics in their own right. So once again, take advantage of the fact that you've got a Steam Deck and can bring these incredible adventures with you whenever and wherever you want. <coughs> We've quite recently had the excellent remasters of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, but if you yearn for the days of classic THPS, 
then Steam Deck's got you covered. Obviously, you've got the PS1 originators, but most notably, the 6th gen versions run at super smooth 60 frames per second, and latency is low enough to have a thoroughly enjoyable experience here. I'm talking everything from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and 4, through the Underground series, and even Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. We have had Tony Hawk Pro Skater on handhelds in the past, notably the PSP, also DS and others. I'd suggest getting hold of the PS2 or GameCube versions to play on the deck. If you're a fan of the franchise, you owe it to yourself to get back into this. Ooh, SSX, that'd be good. Ah, it's too much to play. The first Super Monkey Ball is a game that Sega's never really been able to improve upon. There have been loads of sequels, but none of them, except perhaps the second one, really stack up next to the original. The controls and gameplay are just so tight. The Steam Deck has decent joysticks that are precise enough to deliver a super monkey in a ball experience. And last, but by no means least, is Burnout Revenge. Arguably the best Burnout game in the series before it went all like open world with Burnout Paradise. Arcade races in general are perfect for the Steam Deck. You got Outrun 2006, Need for Speed, Midnight Club, I could go on. But Burnout Revenge is one I'm always drawn to, and it's as addicting as ever. It's a stunning looking racer that runs super smooth on the deck. The short races, missions and challenges are pick up and play fodder that you can spend 5 minutes dipping in and out of, or just as easily sit down for a 2 hour session. If you haven't played Burnout for a while, fire up on the deck and remind yourself what you've been missing out on. So that's it, my top picks for console classics which I think are a perfect fit for the deck. Obviously everyone will have their favourites and that's fine, we're all unique, individuals, that's what makes us special. So you can go ahead and let me know why I'm wrong in the comments or just tell me what you've been enjoying on the deck, I think that'd be healthier. But it's all valid, you do what you want, I'm not your dad, I'm done.